Hey, okay, welcome back. This is Dr. Rivales, and I'm going to show you how to solve a virtual lab. It's called alcohol density problem. Let's read the instructions. A traditional way of finding the concentration of alcohol in alcoholic beverages <coughs> is by measuring the density of the solution. Since it is known that the density is uh, in a person alcohol are related. It's very convenient, low cost. Uh, this is why some some custom officials sometimes use density to classify alcoholic beverages. So in this experiment, uh, virtual experiment, you will uh, perform an experiment to classify the alcoholic content of content of two alcoholic beverages. And once you find it, you want to classify according to one of these five categories uh, of alcohol strength defined by the Canadian importation laws, any of these categories. Right? Okay, so what we're giving here is a set of solutions. They provide us with alcohol at 70%. That will be one point we know. So we know the uh, concentration, let's find the density. Density is mass over volume. So I have here my scale. Then I'm going to have my uh, flask. Tail, so I just want to pour here 50 milliliters and I'm going to find the mass. So that will allow me to find the density because density is mass over volume. So I can enter those numbers. Here I have an Excel worksheet, which I can put the mass, which is 44.084 for a volume of 50. And now I can calculate density because density is mass over volume. And we know that this corresponds to 70% concentration by volume, right? So we have one point, but we need more points because we need to find what is the relationship between these two variables. So what I can do now is uh, prepare a new solution. Let's put this back here. And I'm going to prepare a new solution here by adding 50 milliliters of the 70% solution. And I'm going to add then water. to make a total volume of 100. So I'm diluting by half. So my new solution now is, the name is a alcohol 35%. Okay, alcohol 35%. And then uh, let's get rid of this one. So we have our space on our bench. Remove. The program was to work for me. Okay, good. So now I have a new solution, which is um, 35%, right? 35%. And we're going to find the density of this new solution. Again, um, we're going to find the mass. Okay, sometimes you just need to uh, reload the scale for this program to work. So here, and I'm going to find 50 milliliters again, any amount, but just uh, we consist of 50 milliliters and the new mass. So I'm going to enter that in my uh, problem. So I have a new, the new mass of 47.0412, volume of 50. So I calculate the density of my new point, which is again, mass over volume, copy the formula. And uh, we know this is a 35%. So already have a correlation. It's a linear relationship. We see the uh, as density increases, concentration decreases. Let's have just one, at least one more point to be sure that our uh, equation is correct. So let's go back here. And then I'm going to put it back here, the 50 milliliters. Okay, actually I, I can just uh, keep the same procedure out the 50 milliliters back here, then add water to this solution, have, have, let's see, 50 milliliters of water. And now I have a new solution of uh, the new concentration will be half of 35, which is 17.5. Uh, Okay, I just need to, this program to work for me. Okay, good. So rename, so alcohol at 17.5. That's my new solution. 
And again, I'm going to find the density. We have a one third point. Let's reload the scale. At 50 milliliters here. Okay, see, see what problem I didn't pay it. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, that's not bad. I need to first find the tail here. Okay. Okay, now the 50 milliliters. So you're going to find the mass here. Okay, that will be the mass for this new solution. Let's add the tail point here is 48.5206. So about 50. Go over here to Excel. I copy the formula, mass over volume, and that is uh, 17.5. Okay, that's that's a point. So I can make a plot with this um, being the density is being X and the volume concentration is Y, right? So I can make it and then enter here as um, for the trend line here, which is a linear feeding here, linear feeding, format trend line. So that's what it is, a linear feeding display equation, display R square, and I have here. So I have my, my equation is actually a perfect feeding. So R square is equals one. So now my model is this equation. You see my model is minus copy the formula 91.46 times the density plus the Y intercept give you the concentration. This is the model that we're going to use to solve the problem. Okay, that's that's the model. Now, we have a very powerful model because we can now find the density of the unknown substances, uh, alcoholic beverages, and, and we enter it into the model, we provide the, the concentration, and then we can finalize the lab by classifying these solutions. Okay, let's go back to the lab here. Let's... Um, let's I'm afraid I can remove it because every time I try to remove it, it kind of freezes the program. Okay, let's let's here. Um, remove. So I'm going to add my scale again. Okay, let's let's work now with the unknown solutions. In the stock room solutions, I have the alcoholic beverage A, and I'm going to use this flask. Here, and now I'm going to find what is the density by adding 50 milliliters of this A, in which I have here in my table. So for the solution A, I have a mass of 48.9713 with a volume of 50. Let's go back here. So the density is mass over volume, that's the density of solution A. And now with this density and the model, we can find the concentration. Let's go to the equation, which is minus 591.46 times the density plus the y-intercept as the concentration. And if we see the classifications, that will be 12% is classification four. Right? percent is classification four and let's do it for a uh, solution B uh, remove liquid and then I'm going to go to the stock room solution B okay that's correct is just the weight of the solution and the weight is here is 45.9669, oh, 49, sorry, four, no, 5.9169 for a volume of 50. Go back here. So density is mass over volume, I can copy the formula. And using this density into this model, which I can, can copy the formula from above, I get that the concentration for this B is 48. 0.3, which is more than 22.9. So classification is, is 
That will be the solution for our problem. Let me highlight here the solution. So we are given a problem in which we know density and volume are related. We really don't know what is the relationship. Uh, we can think that as density increases, concentration decreases just because water is more dense than alcohol. But uh, what really we need to do is uh, start making a, a table with the points we have in the, the graph, which provide the model. And once we have the model, we can use it to solve for these solutions A and B. Okay, thank you for watching and have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.